Hey friends out there in YouTube land, I am so excited right now. You have absolutely no idea. I have something right here, very special. I've been waiting for a couple of months to get this in. My friends over at Mint Camera have sent me a review unit and maybe even some extras of the amazing Instant TL70. Instant photography with the TL70 has as full of manual controls as you can possibly get. Basically being an aperture priority camera with the ability to do multiple exposures in an amazing design. The amazing design is the old twin lens reflex design. Now, I'm not going to bore you with any of that, but I'm going to give you a great unboxing right now. And in upcoming videos, you will see a complete series on how to use this camera from street portraits all the way out to night stuff shots. We'll see what we can get. Wow, I'm just so excited about this. Let's start a look real quick. All right, um, the box, really cool. When we think about presentation, obviously there's a box inside of this, but it's nice, mint. Instant inspiration, I love that. And then even the tape that's used to close this box up says mint, instant inspiration, that's pretty cool. And of course this came through uh, JFK from Hong Kong, straight from Gary and Joe over there. Guys, I cannot thank you enough. My viewers have been waiting for this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get that unboxing knife and start the work at hand. How cool is this? Okay, that looks like that's pretty good. Now, aha, okay, cool. So let's go ahead and put this unboxing knife up. Um, really neat stuff right now as we go. I wanna make sure that we can all see. We open it up, open it up, and then the packaging, look at that. Look how nicely they did that. They really put this thought together. So we've got some bubble wrap, okay? We've got some information about their free films. Guys, if you didn't know, if you buy a TL70, you will get film for life as long as you post a couple of images to ABS or to Mint Camera, then Mint will send you a free shipping included pack of film. That's great. First of all, this paper, man, this is good stuff. It's an embossed linen paper, full color printing, uh, feels to be about, I'd say, 70 pounds, 60, 70 pounds, pretty nice. This one's a little bit thicker, around 80 to 90, and it's got a gloss finish. I really like it. Looking further into the box, uh, we can see that we've got something else right here. This is, oh wow, this is the, cam oh wow, look at this packaging. So this is the actual box. This is the actual camera itself, and it looks really, really quite cool. And it's got the second generation bright screen and then the packaging from underneath there. This is a brand new design and it requires some more cutting. Twin lens reflex instant camera. Looking at the box a little bit more, they, uh, it's got a nice matte finish. It's got gloss where the actual device is, which is pretty cool. You can see that right there. It shows you the, the size and it tells you what's inside of the box. And that's on this side right here. That's pretty neat. Okay. Let's see what we can see. That's cut, and then we'll do one more right here. How cool is that? And this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Wow, look at that. Look at that right there. That's, that's cool. The presentation here is really something else. Okay, so we've got our mint camera right here, the Instaplex, the TL70, which is cool. And then looking a little bit closer on the inside of the box, right, you can see there's some paperwork and different things on the inside. So let's find out what that is. So that's neat. The box is uh, empty now. So it comes with three AA Duracell batteries, nice batteries they have with it. And it also comes with uh, a user guide and a certificate of ownership. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. And it says, uh, Dear TL70 friend, congrats. You're part of the instant revolution. Uh, before you show it off to me, we'd like you to, one, go to Mint Camera and register your warranty, and two, keep your original sales receipt. Remember to do your returns within uh, 14, oh, to do all of this within 14 days. And it's signed by Gary. That's pretty cool. Nice. Gary, if you guys don't know, is the CEO and developer of this camera, which is pretty cool. So he's the 
the head honcho over at Mint Camera. So that's really nice right there. Okay. Now, looking at this, let's do a little walk around real quick. Feels good. All the pieces that your hands touch on the corners are brushed aluminum, as you can see, or brushed metal of some sort. Feels nice and solid. I like that. Uh, looking at it right here, it's definitely cool. I like that it's got a, the mint camera up at the top. And you can see there's a little latch right there that actually opens up the back. And as we can see, the back is now open. This is ready for us to put some kind of something on. Okay. Uh, looking forward right here, we can see where the batteries go, which is pretty easy. Nice little clamp. Right, and then a tripod mount. There's a couple of buttons. This texture that you see right here, this is actually a soft touch texture. It's a fabric or a textile of some sort. It's nice, feels real good. And I don't know what this is, but it's there. There are some straps right here so that you can have some kind of uh, a strap to hang around your neck, which is pretty cool. We've got our aperture, and they always give you a special aperture. So my special aperture is Oh, well, maybe I don't see it. Let's see. Ah, uh, mine is a star. How cool is that? So we've got a star. When you look through right here, you can see there's actually a little hole that's for the photodiode. So that judges your light. And we've got um, the, uh, the flash, which pops up right there. How cool is that? So the flash is hidden and it just pops up by pushing that little button. That's pretty cool. Feels good. And this is how we'll focus the actual camera itself. That's nice. So uh, we got a plus and minus uh, EV exposure value compensation. This is so cool. Of course, this is our picture taking button, and this is our eject button. And this is the top of the camera. How cool is that? Let's do that again. In order to close it, let's see. We should just push on the sides. There we go. And this is how we open it. Very cool. Very cool indeed. In fact, the front even goes down so that you've got a sports finder right there so you can look through. <laughs> they thought of everything, didn't they? And then you just push it in right there. The uh, Oh, that's nice and bright. But let's see if this will help some. And we should be able to pull this off just by that. There it is. That's much better. Wow, this viewfinder is something else. Oh, I got it, man. I see you guys right there. I see you guys right there. And then we focus. Wow, that is so cool. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. That is really cool. So this is it. Maybe you guys can see right there. Maybe you can't. I'll do some videos with that. That is, you know what, this is just, this is pretty remarkable when it gets down to it. I like this. Looks like we got about a three feet, four feet. Close focusing distance. How neat is it to be able to actually send that out there? I mean, to, to, to focus that. This is so cool. Yeah, I can't even explain to you how exciting this is to be able to have this camera and to do a review for it. They do make accessories for this camera, such as ND filters and things like that. And uh, uh, that's going to increase the usability of it right off the bat. Now, unboxing this, uh, going into it, I've got some things in mind. First of all, people usually see some vignetting with apertures that are on a dial like this, specifically at the smaller apertures. And that happens for a couple of reasons. So that's one uh, one thing I'm gonna be testing and seeing if that happens with this camera. Uh, a way to get around that is to use neutral density filters and larger apertures. This camera goes all the way down to F22 and all the way up to 5.6. Remember, this is a medium format film instant photography, this is. So uh, we're a little bit larger than what you might expect. So 5.6 maybe is more equivalent in this film to like an F4, which is pretty cool. F22 is maybe more equivalent in 35 millimeter speak to like um, F16. And so that's pretty neat. If you guys hear the birds in the background, I've got birds in my chimney. <laughs> uh, better than bats in your belfry. And I apologize for that, but I've got two options. Either kill them and scoop them out or just let them live and put a put a chimney guard up there next year. And that's what I've decided to do. So you win this time, birds. You win this time. Anyway, so that's where we got it. I'm really looking forward to this camera. I'm excited. I hope that you guys are as well. I'm Robert Hand with Robert Hand Photography. This has been my unboxing of the Mint TL70 and First Impressions. Feel free to keep checking back for that video series. I want to thank you for watching and remind you that I will catch you on the flip side. <laughs> this is so cool.